All right, so we were at Windholm, getting ready to besiege it and take it. So we ended the Shar finally. But I think, I think I'm gonna camp here a bit more so I can grab some of the Lord's prisoner. I need the money. Hopefully I can catch up to them though. Should be able to... I don't want reinforcements in this battle. Okay, I can, but it took forever. Right, we have 50 cab now, good. No need to wait anymore, we can just charge him down. Okay, no, no casualties on our side yet. Another problem is, since the enemy only has one city, they're not gonna have a lot of units on the field. So most of them are gonna run away like little pussies. Well, granted, I will run away too. No, this is what I hate with Skirmish Cab. They're all over the fucking place. But if you have a uh, decent archer force, you can just camp a hill and take him out without a problem. And I need to buy food. I think we're close to Windholm now, or Wallenberry actually, so we can buy some food there. And sell the con uh, send the prisoners. Hopefully there is a ransom broker there. Should be anyway. And we need food. Which is a bigger problem. Okay, now, is there a ransom broker here? Of course there's not, why would there be? Alright, we need to sell this, this guy. Now... Prolson Castle was... Well, there was a large enemy force near it. Not anymore. No, it just takes forever to catch any of them. And Windholm is besieged by Justice Dogs, so we might not have to do it alone. That's good.
Maybe I should tell my cats to stop skirmishing too, since they have peel on them. Or just get rid of it, actually. And again, what am I... I guess I could give them two shields, so they have an extra one. Someone hit him. Nope. Finally. And of course, there's more. Nothing is worth there anymore. It's so nice in the beginning of the game where the, the armor you actually loot can be nice or, or an upgrade. Now there's just no point in looking at it. Okay, they are besieging it, so they might have some, well, yeah, some troops outside the city we can take on. Yeah, come on, get back here. You Caroline Cole, dipshit. Please tell me he's charging in. Okay, no, look. Yes, no, what? I think he is. Nope, he's camping. That's one thing I hate about Spearman, but I guess, I guess that's how Spearman work. They should stop you in, like, one hit. It's kind of confusing that I... Like, what, there's one? This guy is supposed to have, like, at least 50 of these guys on him. I don't know why he doesn't. Granted, it looks like he only has low level troops. No, that was a mistake trying to hit that guy. Then, nope. At least we're fixing up, fixing up our morale problem. I guess I could take more infantry since we are gonna lose a lot. I don't need any more archers, I guess how many? 60? I guess I can take two more just in case, if you lose some. Infantry. We take the nobles too. And then the prisoners. We are getting a lot more, so I guess the blunt, blunt tip lances are working out for us. Now let's go do the siege. It's gonna be easier to catch 4.4. Yeah. Looks like all of the vessels move at the same speed, more or less.
I don't like where the enemy is just over a hill. And after this, I'm gonna go to Windholm, see if we can get in on the uh, on the siege, because most likely the king is there, and I'm, well, not the king, but the, you know, their leader. I wanna grab him so we can get the money before we peace out or destroy the faction altogether. I think I should upgrade Weapon Master too so we can get some proficiencies up. I would like to have over 400 and everything. Yeah, nothing there as usual. Oh, Legionaries. I guess I should take these for the... So we can turn them into knight to the other troops. Nope. Pikemen, noblemen. Everything else we don't need. Now let's sell these guys real quick. So they don't run away as usual. The fuck is here, Ward? Okay, there he is. Oh, it's better to wait if you can, because you'll get a lot more money from them. But if you're pressed for time like I am, just sell them straight away. You know, like for 5,000, 4,000, that's gonna help you. Now let's sell these douchebags and take went home for once and for all. I sell them all and 20k from the prisoners. Well, that's a nice. Do we have enough money now? Oh, there's another guy. Well, we got enough for two weeks of wages. Okay, now. Straight to Windholm. Funny how the AI finally does the thing you wanted to do. Fusebane is still at war with the Char, if I remember. Okay, we don't need him. They are still besieging. And we're still making money, at least. How the hell are they... D I guess... I guess they can't desert, if, even though they are in the city. Is there a king there? Yeah, I think that's him. Kel Kellen is something calm. Oh, look at you. Nope, he's gonna run away. Funny how the fucking caravans get in the city, even though it's under siege. Oh, hey, TYT, I see you in the VIPs. You still lurking? Ew. The fucking uh, morale is going down. Surprising me quickly. Maybe I should level up some of these. I think I'm saving up the points for strength or something, Iron Flesh. Alright, we need to switch these around. I want the legionaries to go first. Praetorians. 100, we have 160 of them. 
Now that's a fucking force and a half. And I guess after them we can send in the lancers just in case. Don't want, don't want my archers in the battle. Come on, will you fucking start attacking? No, 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 don't drop it. Now this is one reason why I usually give my lords, or the one that I think I'm gonna place as a marshal, some engineering skill. Because look how long it does it take him to do anything. I think uh, the more engineering he has, the less they're gonna waste time besieging something. I think that's how it works. Or at least how it should work, I guess. Now come over here, bastard. He fucked up now. Just don't tell me. Okay, they're charging again. Oh shit. Thankfully, they didn't just sit in back like morons. Sir Roland leveled up. Oh, that's right, I didn't get him early on. He has quite a few levels to gain. Maybe I should use a bigger sword so I can knock them out in one hit. Okay, finally. Now please, for the love of God, actually attack the castle, not the city. And I, I'm still gonna like wait around a bit. I don't wanna join in when there's, you know, the full army there. Look at that, the lords even started like, you know, walking off. have the quest? Nope. <laughs> Guess we need to go to Wall and Bear and improve our, our morale. Otherwise we're gonna start losing men. Yeah. Now that sucks. Because the AI takes their sweet ass fucking time to, you know, actually attack something when they're besieging it. And takes a shitload of money to get enough morale back. And again, we don't have money, that's the problem. And not money, food. Fucking god, are you gonna besiege it? Who are we gonna help here? Let's help the Red Brotherhood bandits, then kill them after this. Oh my fucking god. I can't honor Angel Lance, I always forget that. Get 
rid of all of them. No, one's, one's chasing my guy now. No, there's actually two more of them. This is why adventurers are good. And if you just want to clean up the enemy, just, you know, tell them to stop, hold, hold their fire so they don't skirmish. And just stomp over everything. Well, it is kind of based on Lord of the Rings, Wizzy. I mean, they have the Noldor, which are basically elves. You know, let's see, where is the guy? Yeah, him. Let me just quit this. This guy is basically an elf. And the Noldors live, uh, live in the woods, of course, like in uh, Lord of the Rings. Over here. They have a hidden castle and whatnot. Only thing is, they hate everyone in this game. Well, uh, unless you befriend them. Or will you fucking... Oh, god damn it. Wait, who who is the... Okay, Justice Ducks. Will you please fucking attack it? Oh, there is an option for that. Cool. I didn't know that. Actually, never tried it. Let's wait a day. So they can, like, clean up the, the heaviest troops off. And now, let's go to battle. I'm probably gonna get shot to shit. Since it is kind of a difficult spot. Oh, let's do it anyway. We can always back out and rest. And there are quite a few Lord of the Rings mods. I think there's three mods that are fairly polished. That you can play. Uzi. I prefer the last, last days of the middle... Uh, last days of Middle Earth. I think it's called like that. The fuck are those guys doing? Well, do you watch Game of Thrones then? Because there's a Game of Thrones mod. Well, two of them actually. Oh my god, we're getting shot to shit. Let's see what else. Warhammer maybe? Or Japanese things? Or Rome maybe? There are mods for everything. Oh, that's reminded me. Maybe I should try out the zombie apocalypse mod. Again. Oh, the Gekko Kujo one? I think they, you know, improved it a lot since 2011. They even made a... Well, sort of a DLC expansion for it. Oh, you... M I'm gonna have to, like, pick up a bow, am I? To kill these bastards off. Unless, you know, since they have infinite ammo, they're just gonna be destroying us. I hear see ain't the be best? Come on. Or I might be just hitting an invisible wall. Okay, 150 headshot damage. Yeah, they. Ma I. I don't think it's. It's in patch one. Uh, Three point nine point two. They made it so the defensive garrison has infinite ammo. Don't know why the modders did that. I mean, it's kind of sucks. But you know, if you're defending, actually, you have infinite ammo, so maybe that's a plus for you. Okay, now can I pick up my shit back? Sapphire and sword? Yes, we can. No, in native they don't have infinite ammo. And I mean, they don't ha actually have infinite ammo, but their quivers and like pillars, uh, thrown weapons refresh after like a minute or two. Even yours, so you can actually like, you know, have a bow and three sets of arrows and just sit on the wall and spamming arrows forever. 
I think if you have like something like 90 arrows, you can actually, you know, fire forever, since it won't deplete. Okay, let's do some flanky missions. Oh, hey, simply, what's up? We're ending the Dishar now. This is the last piece of shit castle they have. Which the stupid freeze vein didn't know how to take over again. Maybe I should download Gekukuju too, since I didn't play the uh, advanced DLC version of it. Come on, archers, get up here. Well, they still can. Because it didn't try that one out, then again I had problems in the normal version and the other the, the, the newer one has a lot more shit in it, so it's harder. Hopefully it's a good internet connection simply. One thing I I was like, oh I wanna move or something, then I get uh, then I start thinking I'm probably not gonna be able able to get the optical internet connection like there and like a month or two, because it did take time to like set up the cables and everything and through the neighborhood. So I'm kind of, eh, I don't want to move. You mean the Wi-Fi is shit? I mean, I assume it's Wi-Fi. I always go for Ethernet cables. Fuck. Fuck wireless shit. I would connect my phone to the fucking internet cable if I could. If you could do that, actually. Maybe you can. It had, have some kind of adapter for it. Now, it's stupid that you don't have an infinite ammo because, you know, you get a shitload of archers in the battle and they can't actually do anything that's why I don't get the idea like if it would make more sense for the both sides to have infant ammo since you know the besiegers would have like a stockpile of supplies with them yeah wired internet is always better and stable I get pissed off at my phone and Wi-Fi wi all the fucking time. Well, couldn't your uh, internet provider just hook your modem up in the second floor and not in the first one? You know, you, you know just place the modem up there, not downstairs. Or just drill a hole from downstairs to, you know get the cables to, to the second floor guess you could do something like that yeah just drill a hole dig a hole dig a hole drill a hole do it like Ed and Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie just dig a hole dig a hole or in this case drill a hole drill a hole get the cables through the hole and so on Oh man, this is gonna take forever, is it? They have more than... Oh shit. Why is no one coming up this ladder? Okay, it, uh, they are. I think the archers are actually blocking them. Yeah, they are. I hope... Hopefully they fix this this patting issue in Bannerlord, but... Yeah, it looks like they did. Hopefully they did. To your troops that don't like uh, you line up from left to right on the wall instead of like you know across the wall. Oh yeah, was well, we we're besieging uh, the last castle of our faction, so they have you know 500, 600 garrison plus all their you know vassals in them, plus their armies too. That's weird. Main floor, but try then. Yeah, so yeah. Then again, I guess you could have the interim providers here. You can tell them to like place the cables on on the 
on top of the room, or, you know, against the walls in the corners with some, I don't know, sticky substance, wax or glue, I don't know what it is. So I guess you could do something like that. It's, it's cheap that the, it's like a gun that has a stick, wax stick in it. And you can just, you know, glue your wires to the floor, to the, uh, the floor, but I forget what it's called, top of your room, roof, you know. Well, look, you in November, we're currently working on painting <laughs> really <relics. laughs> I mean, I, from what I've seen on the Battle Lord forums, the game is more or less ready, j j just, you know, putting in the fancy new stuff in it. Or why are you just going up that way, you morons? Actually, you know what? Let's tell the cavalry to go down here. Maybe they push through somehow. But then again, when Banalot comes out, you know, I mean, when did Warband come out? In 2010 or something like that? Nine years later, we still have mods for it being made. I think Prophecy of Pandora 4 was, you know, supposed to come out last year. Well, once they, you know, started working on it. But since, you know, the people, the modders actually, you know, stopped. Or not, they didn't, well, they stopped working on it because, you know, family stuff and life stuff. Um, college work and whatever. They said they were just gonna quit it now and maybe make, uh, make the fourth installment of Pandora on Ben Lord. Oh, this is great. Just stay here and slice them up. Stop blocking, you jackass. You're not supposed to block. Hopefully I don't get a fucking gel into the face. Rogue vanilla NPCs? What do you mean? Oh, the, uh, there's probably some units that look like vanilla ones, or yeah, you know, they are knights of the orders and some mercenaries and a lot of other stuff. And this is even a mod version of Pandora, so I added. Well, I changed the Bacchus Empire into the Roman Empire. Okay, now I'm gonna get the peel out of the face. Ooh, archers stay here. Maybe this is a better idea. I'll just place them there so they can shoot down on the enemy. Okay, we killed f almost 600. Okay, archers, hold your fire and get on top of the walls first. Okay, nope. Now oh, I don't understand this, I can... Wait. Oh, that was a uh, cavalry, probably. Vager archers. I don't know which unit can look like them. Let me think. And again, it was a long ass time ago, uh, since a long ass time since I played vanilla actually, so I don't even remember how they look like. Oh, she's getting shot to shit as per usual. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was a bad idea. Well, sure, simply. What's your download speed? My, I have a hundred, hundred down, and I'm forty up. 
So I can download 10 megabytes per second. For the low, low cost of 27, 8 euros, I think I'm on. With the fur hat, I think those are the Deshar archers. Maybe I should just sell the archers to charge in. We're supposed to be killing them off at this point. Then again, they ha still have high tier troops. For hats, uh, I'm gonna look at the troop tree. I think those are the Shar low level troops. Hundred thirty, hundred thirty one, hundred thirty two, hundred thirty three. Oh, how I love when I line up the enemy like this and I can just, you know, mash left click and kill them all. What the fuck is the Sarlian Helvedir doing here? Alright, they have here Ward, he was a Sarlian Lord. What the fuck are you stuck on? Come on! You know what? Move down here! You jackasses! Yo, that's still pretty bad, simply. Oh no, is that in megabytes or megabits? So it's by two worse download is two uh, worse by two by than mine and your upload. I think you can stream now actually, if your internet is stable. But then again, it's Wi-Fi, so probably get ether Ethernet cables first, then you know try and stream if you want to do it. Put your shield down, that boy. Archers, hold your fire and just charge in. So that actually transfers to 800, 800 kilobytes per second downloaded. Right? And 300 kilobytes per second uploaded. Actually, all of you stop firing. Just charge in. Now this is wonderful. I guess my PC is pretty old, so I never had like a Wi-Fi card thing on my PC, so I could never use Wi-Fi unless I bought a separate Wi-Fi modem connector thing for the PC device. Smash. I don't know, they have probably close to a thousand troops in the city when we have a couple of thousand I just don't want to get shot and get down now the question is will these guys ever get up <laughs> Let's see, can we actually move our cab up here? So they, you know, they switch ladders. You click the off screen, shit. Like 
Well, depends on your internet provider, really. Is it, you know, a shared uh, connection or something? Since I know that's a thing in Western Europe and in America. To, like, share your internet speed with some, you know, 